Blissom and Green I use a lot. This is Green Glow, particular to him. You can rip off the paper tip, place it in an Eppendorf file, and add two drops of saline. This dilutes the touch, you get a 1% Lissom and Green solution. And Lissom and Green can be used for a lot of things on the ocular surface. We're looking at things where the conjunctiva might be a little damaged, the cornea might be damaged, and it stains defective or dysplastic type cells on the ocular surface. This little pipette allows you to suck up exactly one drop that you then place in the patient's eye. It provides perfect stain. You never wonder if you used too little, and you don't get some artificial staining, which you sometimes can get if you touch the eye with a paper strip. Here's the installation. Yeah, with a paper strip, I feel like it's very unpredictable how much actual lissom and green you're going to get. This is very precise every single time, the amount of dilution and how much you actually get on the ocular surface. And you can see plenty to see if there's staining with this. There's staining. If there's not staining with this, there is no staining. So you never wonder if you used enough. And this is the staining of the conjunctiva, a very good area that you can stain with. We can also use fluorescein in some cases, but lissom and green is what we used here. And the other important thing to tell the patient is their vision will turn green momentarily. 